welcome back to our video tutorials of computer organization and architecture and this video series is based on the syllabus of fourth semester computer science and information technology students of kerala technical university in the previous two videos we have discussed about addressing modes and some addressing modes like registered mode absolute mode immediate mode and interaction mode in this video we will discuss about indexing and arrays okay then indexing the effective address of the operand is generated by adding a constant value to the contents of a register the effective address of the operand is obtained by adding a constant with the content of register available in the instruction and usually the register used are general purpose registers and sometimes special registers are used for this indexing such special registers are known as index register index registers and this index mode of addressing is represented inside the instruction using notations like this x inside parenthesis ri meaning the effective address is obtained by adding a constant value x with the content of register ri okay consider this one diagram this shows the memory uh, status here we have an instruction add 20 inside parenthesis r1 comma r2 this particular notation indicates the indexing what's the meaning in such notation how can we resolve move to register r1 fetch the value available here that is 1000 here so add this constant 20 with this content of register r1 and generate the effective address as 1020 then add move to location the effective address 1020 with the operand value available here then add this operand value with the content of register r2 and store the resultant value after addition in register r2 and the way uh, here also we have this indexing add 1000 inside parenthesis r1 comma r2 what's the meaning first move to r1 with the value available here here we have 20 add the constant 1000 with the register content r1 and generate the effective address of 1020 move to that location then with the operand value add this value with the content of register r2 then finally the resultant value after addition available in register r2 So consider this one example. This will explain uh, the indexing mode of addressing. This is a memory representation and have some uh, assumptions like memory is byte addressable, meaning each byte is assigned with address, and each memory word is of length 32 bits, meaning word size is 32 bits or four bytes. So in order to get different values or different instruction we need to jump four bytes or we need to skip four bytes in order to get the next value here we have a label n indicate number of students present in a class here we uh, for simplicity here we are uh, using a simple value of 2 uh, in order to represent the number of students okay and a block of four words represent the details of a single student okay a four memory words form a student record in which a single word used to represent the student id second word used for storing the students mark obtained in test one and third word used for storing the mark obtained in test two and fourth word used for storing the mark obtained in test 3 similarly another these four words form another record used to store the details of student 2 here we have some other memory words labeled as some one some two and some three and some words 
is a location allotted for storing the sum of test 1 mark of student 1 and test 1 mark of student 2. Sum 2 is a location allotted for storing the resultant value of addition of test 2 mark of student 1 with test 2 mark of student 2 and sum 3 store the value of test 3 of student 1 plus test 3 of student 2. And one more assumption consider this label particular label list pointing to a uh, address location of 100c act as the base address okay so consider this program code and is used for and this program actually implemented for executing our this addition task okay first hash list comma move hash list comma r0 store the list address value or uh, store the address value pointed by this label list to register r0 already assumed list pointing to an address location of 1000 so register r0 is loaded with the value of 1000 then clear r1 r2 and r3 so set value 0 in these three registers then move n comma r4 meaning location n here we have value 2 this value is stored in register r4 to load r4 with value 2 then add 4 of r0 comma r1 what's the meaning first move to r0 fetch the value then add a constant value of 4 then generate the effective address of 1004 so move to that location this r0 hold the address of label list so after adding a constant value of 4 where we reach here list plus 4 and there we get the test 1's mark of student 1 that is mark 10 okay so this 10 is added with register content r0 in the initial case r0 has a value 0 so after addition replace this value of r0 with the resultant value 10 after the addition of this 10 plus previous r1 value 0 so after this the next instruction 8 of r0 comma r2 meaning move to r0 here we have 1000 as r0 content add a constant value 8 and generate the effective address of 10008 this 1000 actually indicate a label list so list plus 8 is the next effective address location so reach here here we have a value of 20 this 20 is added with content of register R2. Here we have value 0. So after addition, replace this value with the resultant value of 20. Similarly, after performing this addition, list plus 12. So move here, fetch this value, then add with the content of R3. Now get the value of 30. Is it clear? So then perform an addition immediate address model representation at 16 hash 16 comma r0 and the operation is add so content of r0 is added with a value of 16 so now we have updated r0 content 1016 why this type of addition because we have already finished in the student one's record so we need to jump these four memory word and each word is four bytes in length so as a total we need to jump 16 wow, bytes from the base address that is list base address is actually 1000 so need to jump 16 bytes and reach now here this plus 16 so this is actually the student id of second student and then decrement the content of r4 
So decrement this by 1. Now it is 1 here. R4. Then check. Is 1 greater than 0? Yes, condition is true. So jump to location loop. Here we want to repeat this loop body again. 4 of R0, R1. R0 now have a value 1016. Add F4 with this. Then where we reach, we reach here. The next word. Okay, here we have value 20. So 20 is add with an end of register R1. Now we have 30 here. Okay. Similarly, after adding 8 with content of register, register R0, we reach here. Okay. Here we have value 30. So, after addition, 30 plus 20, we have 50 here. And after this addition, move to this location. Here we have 20. 20 is added with this 30. Get a value 50 here. After the 16 addition of addition with the content of R0, this become 32. <coughs> Sorry. 1, 0, 3, 2. Okay. Then decrement R4. Now it is 0. Then check for the branch condition. Branch greater than 0. The condition fails here. Now move to the next instruction. No need to go back to the loop body. So the next instruction is R1, sum 1. Meaning content of R1 is loaded into, sorry, stored into location lab and as Someone show this 30 here. Next, uh, move R2, comma, sum 2. Store the value in R2 to a memory location. Labeled as sum 2. Store. So, store this 50 here. Similarly, content of R3 in memory location. Labeled as sum 3. Again, R3 content 50 in sum 3. Okay. This is the end of operation and this is an example for understanding indexing mode of addressing. And these are some variations of indexing and arrays and sometimes the instruction have uh, this type of representation inside parenthesis ri comma rj. In such situation the effective address is calculated as Content of Ri plus content of Rg. Usually, the second register is considered as the base register in such representation. <coughs> and these type of notations are usually used for representing or indexing two-dimensional arrays. Okay, the second modification is this one. X of Ri comma Rg. Then how can we calculate the effective address x plus content of ri plus content of rj. Okay. Two register content added with a constant value x. This type of representation usually used for implementing three dimensional arrays. And this form of representation is more flexible because both the base address and the uh, offset values, both the values present inside different register so that we can easily uh, change the constant value or the base value because the uh, exact memory values and the constant values present inside registers we can easily change the register content in uh, without affecting the structure of the instruction all these are about indexing and arrays okay thank you